Chair recognizes Representative Hertel. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity to speak to this amendment. I rise in support of my amendment to remove the tie bars from this legislation that essentially link pay premiums for our frontline employees across the Department of Corrections, the Michigan State Police, and the Department of Veterans Affairs to a bill that we just voted on regarding changes in the state administrative board transfers. I stand here today in support of all the frontline workers across Michigan, frontline heroes that have put not only their own lives, but the health and safety of their loved ones on the line in order to support our communities during this unprecedented health crisis. Ensuring these brave, hardworking Michiganders who have stepped up for us since last March are properly compensated should not be contingent on anything. No strings attached, no political games that hold this funding hostage, period. This amendment would honor the commitment we've made to frontline workers across Michigan and back up our words of support and appreciation for their hard work with action rather than just empty promises. Because you can't put a roof over your head or put food on the table, you can't fill your gas tank, you can't put clothes on your kids' backs with simple platitudes from politicians. Madam Speaker, reasonable people can disagree. And I welcome that disagreement. I welcome the debate. But holding these fund, funds hostage for frontline workers across our state is not reasonable. The amendment will go a long way in making sure our frontline workers have the money that, that we put our money where our mouth is and they will have the resources they need to take care of their families after all they've done for us during this difficult time. I encourage my colleagues to join me in support to show our constituents that we can put partisan politics aside in their time of need. Thank you, Madam Speaker. <laughs>